in this video I'm gonna talk about Global Hair, which is a new Blender add-on in the form of collections of ready-made hair presets that you can apply to your 3D characters with minimal effort. And this add-on is built on Blender's modern hair system, which will prioritize flexibility, speed, and realism. This add-on looks like an absolute crazy deal, but how good is it? First of all, the add-on comes with a library of 180 preset hairstyles, covering a wide range of looks, and this alone might be worth the price. Even more, maybe. From tight curls and braids to long wavy locks, in addition to spiky punk styles, deadlocks, and even beards. And the add-on offers options for virtually any character that you can imagine. And each hairstyle preset is fully editable through Blender's geometry nodes and curves, which means you are free to freestyle and refine the hair to suit your project. So if you don't want the exact look that you're going for, you can take the closest one to it and modify it to your liking. For example, you can start with a shoulder length haircut and easily turn it into a shorter bob or slicked back look by adjusting the provided parameters and combining the guide curves. So the idea is that just one preset can spawn countless variations, including length, volume, waviness, fringe styles, you name it all without leaving the add-on's interface. And this honestly gives you a ton of creative freedom. You can browse the list of hairstyles and choose one, I mean to add to your character, and the add-on will spawn the selected hair setup, which comes as a sculpt object with hair attached, and fitting it to your character is actually simple. Every style is built on a base sculpt mesh, which you can then adapt to your character's head, then bind it with a surface deform modifier. In the documentation it is called skin wrap, and that's it you're essentially ready to go. So there is no complex rigging or particle system tweaking required, which is gonna save you a lot of time. After the sculpt is in place, you can immediately start tweaking the hair shape by editing the guide curves or using the sliders provided in the GeoNodes modifier. And the add-on lets you also control where the hair grows in a believable way. I mean, all the hairstyles use a sculpt mask, so you can just texture paint on the sculpt to define hair growth areas. If you want a clean shaved side or specific hairline, just paint those parts onto the mask and the hair will only sprout where you left it painted. As you can see, this paint to grow hair approach is actually super handy for customizing a style to your character's exact needs without using any complicated weight maps or manual vertex groups, which I would say can save you a ton of time. Another important feature of global hair is its focus on performance. In fact, the add-on includes three main quality settings, and you can think of them as low, medium, and high detail versions of the hair, which you can switch between. In hindsight, this acts like a built-in LLD or level of detail for your hair. You might work in a lighter mode for a snappier viewport, then pump up the high strength count when it is time to render. This is actually important, since heavy realistic hair can back down even a strong PC. The add-on also makes it easy to dial the hair up or down to match up the hardware or the scene demands. In a similar way, the method you style the hair is performance friendly. You're only combining a relatively small number of guide curves, not every strand, which keeps the interaction smooth. And there are of course other hair and grooming add-ons, but with this one as I said, you have 180 different styles at your fingertips, spanning realistic and stylized looks, which is actually massive. So you're basically given an instant hairstyle catalog, and this makes it especially appealing to artists who might be comfortable with modeling and texturing characters, but don't have the time or experience with hair. And if you are a character artist or generalist 3D artist who need to make a lot of characters with different hairstyles, I'm sure this add-on can save you a ton of time. So if you're interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.